Somebody's asking if Bubbles is really there or not, obviously. And uh, we're going to be talking about mystery products in coming up videos. Um, and a lot of different topics as well. Oh my gosh, we got breaking news! The sadness of it all, you guys. Louis Vuitton is discontinuing its toiletry pouches. I have had the pleasure of sharing my life with two of them. One is the smallest, the 15 toiletry pouch or the push toilette and then the 26. So I'm kind of lucky because I got two. I didn't get the 19. I'm kind of lucky I got them. I didn't get them now that the news hit. I have had these since many years. In fact, I carry this one with me every day. Me and Latoya Jackson, what can I tell you? I've seen several videos of Latoya with her little, what is Latoya gonna do now that she can't repurchase these anymore? This is so sad. So breaking news is that Louis Vuitton has officially discontinued their posh toilettes uh, 15, 19, and 26. So I've been just talking uh, with, uh, because this video is, is being filmed live uh, with my code chatters and co-conspirators. Um, my um, code chatters told me that this has happened. So we, we checked all together uh, on the website and uh, it, they're gone. <laughs> the posh toilettes are all gone. And there's just like in France, I checked the French website still has the blue version of the monogram with one stripe of leather toiletry pouch for 700 euro in France. Like when I got this one, it was 286 or something like that. I can't even remember anymore. It was many years ago, but Lady Diana had one. Marc Jacobs had one. I mean, this is history. This is Louis Vuitton. How can Louis Vuitton greedy, greedy Louis? Because, you know... <laughs> Because how can they discontinue this? So my viewers in the chats were saying that they're discontinuing it because they want to earn more money on leathers. They just want to... And this is another news flash. Seems like they're phasing out completely the monogram, the canvas in favor of leathers because they want to sell upped prices for leathers and they want to push their jewelry. And um, wait, let me take away the sidebar so you can see me more. Hold on. There. So... And actually, I could immediately also make a thumbnail for this, the sadness of it all. Hold on, let me... Because this, this news flash is super sad. You know, just like me depressed. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. But what I want to say is... I've been to Louis Vuitton a couple of weeks ago. Guess what my sales associate said? You want a real news flash, news flash? Because as much as I love these toiletry pouches, a lot of people don't. But I understand like the logic, like somebody's was saying in the chats, ah, they want to disc they're gonna discontinue them because a lot of people were buying these as clutches. I did too. I mean, this one I actually have my toiletry in here. I have my hand cream in here. I have, you see, my my pills, I have my eye eye drops. But then somebody said, yeah, people were using them as actual clutches, not as not as not as toiletry pouches. So Louis Vuitton was not selling their higher end products as pouches. So they want to take these off the market so that they could earn more from the more expensive bags. Like what a greedy move to do. Uh, Melissa Mel says people were adding chains to the toiletry pouch, which mimics the cousin, the leather bag they are trying to push. So because people make fake bags out of, well, it's not a fake bag, out of SLGs, which compete with their bags, they had to. They didn't have to. People are being inventive and creative. You're allowed to alter your bag once you buy your pouch, once you buy it and make out of it what you want to make out of it. I still think it's a greedy move. And I'm, I don't think they had to do anything. I think they're douches for doing so. And also, so I've been to, uh, to Louis Vuitton, um, a couple of weeks ago and my sales is and because i was looking for a key paul i was thinking of maybe getting a key paul but i like i don't like the bandolier the the bandolier i like to just have the handles and i was like hey i would like to see how it how i fit with because i do have the takashi murakami cherries key paul 45 uh but it's just so precious i'm not just gonna throw it around and you with me yeah, come on it's the cherries key paul it's like the, one of my holy grails so i said i just want a regular monogram canvas which is the only stuff i buy from louis Yes, I am that basic bitch that only gets the monogram canvas from Louis. Sue me. But I did get the poche toilette, the cosmetic pouch, the rounded one, uh, multicolor, white base, when uh, it was still around. So I do have that one too. But, and the cherries, everything else is monogram. 
which I love. So anyway, and I said, I want to try the 50, the 55, the, just to see, you know, how it kind of vibes with me. And he's like, oh, we don't have them. I'm like, well, yeah, I'm just, what do you mean? You, can you order them? He's like, no, no, they're not in production anymore. I was like, hold on, check on your website, like check in your system. And he's like, he's scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And he finally, he said, oh no, I could order the 50. That's the last one. I can't order 45, 55 or 60. Only with the bandolier. I was like, I don't want the bandolier. What the hell? So I was shocked that they're phasing out the key balls with just the handles. And now in my chat, somebody's saying that it seems as though LVMH wants to phase out completely the monogram in favor of just their leathers. I am shocked. Like, this is news, you guys. If they just want to push their, like, expensive jewelry or uh, accessories and their leather bags in favor, then one of the biggest reasons why we buy luxury like this is because it feels safe, okay? I like the feeling of knowing that this will always be in a Louis Vuitton store, so boutique. So if it breaks, if it gets damaged, I can always go back in there and buy one. That feel, that's part of luxury, you guys. As Daniel was saying in the chats, when, once a brand discontinues these iconic pieces that have been there for decades, the brand, the luxury brand loses its luster. It loses its appeal in many ways because a part of the luxury, part of the reason why plastic is so expensive is also because of that feeling of safety that it gives you. You know, you're buying into this brand and you know this is a forever piece that's always going to be there and you're always going to be capable of getting another. I don't know, just feeling that it's not gone, that it's not a seasonal piece, that it gives me peace of heart. That's part of luxury. That's part of the reason why I justify this high price is knowing that the brand is committed to this piece and it's going to be there forever. Even after I'm long gone, they're still going to make their freaking toiletry pouches. Well, that's not happening anymore because Louis Vuitton is so greedy that they want to go for it now. <laughs> Ain't happening. Kisha Elliott, thank you for subscribing. Let me read your chats. Super upset. <laughs> Jennifer B Bierman says, uh, monogram is history. That's why it feels bad. But it is his. I know, right? It's history. I, guys, guys, who doesn't remember Lady Diana, may she rest in peace, stepping off her Dodi Alfayette yacht with this under the crook of her arm, stepping off her yacht in her little beach attire? Like, no. And you know, they might be sneaky. Some of you did speculate that this could happen. They, they take them off the market. They have a certain price now. They take them off the market for a year or two, then they bring them back for like triple the price. It's probably going to happen. Oh my God. Either way you put it. So freaking sketchy. I can't. Melissa Mel says, it was announced that there is a worldwide shortage on canvas. I'm sure this is just them prepping us for the inevitable so they can try to be more higher end with mostly leather and exotics. Well... As far as the canvas is concerned, there are still a couple of pieces I need <laughs> on my wish list. I, I guess I got to get them now before it's too late. And yeah, okay, so let's talk about one more thing. Um, hold on, where's my... FOMO. I made a, an extra video about this. You could check that out on my channel, Fear of Missing Out. I explain exactly how it works. This is a great example of an extreme situation of FOMO. I have such an anxiety attack right now. Listen, you clicked on this video. This is first world problems, okay? Don't tell me that, you know, there's a lot of bigger problems. Yes, there are, okay? But you saw the title of the video, so don't come for me for that. I, I, this is giving me fear of missing out anxiety uh, because, I, as you can see, I have these since many years and, like, knowing that I'll never be able to get them again makes me really, like, gives, it's putting an anxiety onto me. It's making me think, okay, how many sales associates and boutiques can I contact to get whatever stock is left? No, I gotta, I gotta stop thinking that way. I, ju I should enjoy what I have as long as I have it and done. It's a pity for, uh, for Louis if they, you know, it's their loss. Let's just put it that way. I'm for sure not gonna look for an alternative at Louis Vuitton for another part because these are perfect. You didn't need to change anything on these. Nothing, nothing needed changing. So, you know. If you're going to like say, yeah, we got an update. We were bringing out an updated version with a little leather strap that costs 700 euro. I saw the uh, European French website where they sell the same size toiletry pouch with 
the dark um, monogram and then that leather little slit here and a little kind of rivet or a little ring, metal ring in here for 700. No. No! Just, it ain't happening. Oh my god, I'm so upset. Okay, so, um, hmm. Lady Diana was beyond time, says Jack. Yeah, she was. Thought, maybe they will bring it back as part of collections or selective times so they can jack up the price. Probably, Megan. I mean, come on. Like, how can you, like, discontinue your most iconic pieces? Holy Grace says, if it is true that they will discontinue Canvas, they will flop. It is their point of difference. It's their DNA. I totally agree with you, Holy Grace, but you know that they're working on that monogram thing on leather? Terrible. Terrible. Yep. Jo Janna S says they want to create panic buying. Oh my God. This is <laughs> toilet paper all over, toilet paper shortage all over again, but for like luxury. Cha, everybody running to stock up on toiletry pouches. Yeah, toilet paper, toiletry pouch. Hey. Louis said, let's run with the with the times. Last year we had toilet paper shortages. This year we have toilet pouch shortages. Cha mm -mm. Yamil Cordova says the canvas will always be their best publicity. Everyone has seen their iconic canvas at least once. Catherine Herman says, oh geez, I am laughing and literally crying. Major FOMO. <laughs> I love the hysterical. I love Catherine is like crying and laughing <laughs> at the same time. It's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, you know what I mean? It's like total FOMO. Now for a person like me, who, oh. plus, okay, this one I haven't used much. It's like one of my holy grails. This one I use a lot. So because it's always in use, um, it has softened so nicely. So it's like so nice and soft. After so many years of using it, it has really adapted to my needs in my bag. And you just kind of, the, all of this is so nice and soft. This one is a bit more hard because it hasn't been used that much because I do protect this one a lot. It, it's just now even more so. Now it's a museum piece. Go figure. Who knew? Who knew that they're like most incredible, simple but incredible item is just going to be poof, gone. And I was lucky to find both of these made in France. Just side note. Jack says, I don't think they're discontinuing the actual monogram, just not using the traditional brown and cream color way because they believe it's outdated. They cannot believe it's outdated. Maybe what they do want to do, which is what Chanel did with the Grand Shopping Tote. Remember the Grand Shopping Tote? Another one of the loves of my life. I have the Grand Shopping Tote in extra large. They discontinued the Petite, the Standard, and the XL because the market was oversaturated. There were too many replicas of it. So Chanel, not because it didn't sell. Chanel took it away, discontinued it because they wanted to desaturate the market. So maybe Louis is thinking, hey, too much of these. Maybe we got to stop it with the canvas for a year or two and then bring it. Everything is fine. But you best believe when they bring something back, they're going to. Why are they going to up the price when they bring it back? Also, to pay for the money they lost by not selling it. Let's say this, they discontinue it for two years and then bring it back. That amount of those billions of dollars that they could have made but lost in those two years, you best believe they're going to make us idiots pay for that. Because when they bring back the piece, it's going to cost four times more. Yeah, because you got to pay for the money they lost the past two years when those idiots decided to take it offline, to not make it sellable anymore. I mean, these, you, you guys, and they're giving us FOMO. No. You can always wash your backside in the shower. You cannot replace a Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch. Five minutes ago, I was glad I had not bought one. Now I am on the verge of hysteria at missing out. I'm telling you, Daniel, FOMO is a real thing. Fear of missing out is a real thing. And Holy Grace, get your asses to Louis Vuitton quick. I never wanted the toiletry pouch, but maybe now I do, LOL. Which size is best? Okay, Holy Grace. Oh, the video is over. So this is the best size for me. I know it's the smallest, the small the least amount of people ever buy the the 15 because they think nothing fits in here a bunch fits in here okay i get my eye drops in here i got my little chanel hand cream pebble in here i got my painkillers in here i got a desiccant in there i got aspirin in here and i got a lip gloss like literally it's, it's just perfection and it fits even more it's just like that's all i i put in it and it fits in every bag. This is a bit big. Okay, this is a bag in its own right. This little thing, I recommend the 15. It's just the best little creature. It goes everywhere with you. It's super cute. Yeah, you can't put your toothbrush in here. It's not for that. It's for these like daily essentials. 
I would highly re and everybody always told me don't get the 15 the 15 is like such a small little yeah I saw Latoya Jackson <laughs> with her little 15 everywhere she went I was like oh my god convinced I bought it and never stopped using it since and I have it in my bag with me wherever I go every day this is not a piece that I baby okay it got one water stain here you can't even see it but like uh, there you see that that little stain there which is I don't care it's it's fine it's like and I've had this bag for what like seven years now look at the beauty of it look at this used every day it's thrown in my bag done I, I just I do with it whatever I want to do with it and it's just the quality of it all 15 is my choice if you gotta get just one try to hunt this one down Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, thumb up this video for more news coming up soon. Until next time, don't forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye.